My name's Alan Hart and today we're going to look at how the controls work on a Y-Plan central heating system. Also, um, just a big shout out really to EPH Controls. They've sent me this board so that I can explain um, explain how it works to you. Um, if you want it, if you're an installer, you can actually get um, displays for your fronts. So on there, if you pull your flaps down, to pull the flaps down on the clock, it gives you your details in there. So if customer needs to get hold of you, they've got your number. So that might be useful for for some installers. Um, but yeah, let's uh, let's have a look at the controls now. So this is just a very basic video, just to show you how the controls work on a Y plan central heating system um, so first of all you'd have your hot water coming here from your central heating boiler or your heat source and then what you need to do is you need to divert this to what is required so that might be heating and it might be hot water so on the bottom of a zone valve you have a A and a B A would normally go to the central heating and B would normally go to the hot water cylinder and now you would control this Y plan valve is via the clock so on the clock here we've got hot water and we've got heating now if you just turn I'll just turn this down a minute and I'll just turn this one down but if we turn if we boost the hot water nothing will happen because we need to also so that's on but the boiler hasn't come on so it's showing that the clock is on but the boiler hasn't come on so what we need to do the cylinder has to be calling for heat now the, the reason I've explained it this way is normally the cylinder stat will be set you won't adjust the cylinder stat but if your cylinder stat is up to temperature so you've already got hot water in your cylinder then the boiler will go off so and that'll give that so that that'd be like that so that's now asking the clock is asking to put hot water into the hot water cylinder so I'll just turn that back off we'll turn the hot water off now if we want heating and it's very simple again so we'll boost for the heating and then the clock will come on on here and again the boiler's not come on what we need to do we need to turn the room thermostat up if we turn the room thermostat up it will move this valve here and it'll move it to A so now the hot water's coming in this way and it's going round that way and that's going to your radiators and the boiler has now come on that's just a real quick and easy description of how a Y plan system would work. Um, hopefully that could help with fault finding as well, because you know that the first the first part of your system is your fuse spur. In your fuse spur, you'd have a three amp fuse, and then you would have your you'd have your wiring center, you'd have your clock, you'd have your your, your valves, um, your not your valves, your control, so your your cylinder stat and your room thermostat and you would have your your y plan valve so you can test all that with a multimeter but if you understand how it works then obviously if you're going to test for faults then you better work it out a bit easier um, i hope that was of some use um, if you've got any questions please ask them in comments below and thanks for watching